Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last video, we came to, I don't know, Red Town, whatever the heck it's called. And things are not going well in Red Town, whatever the heck it's called. Uh, we've got the blacksmith back on side, but uh, there's a few other people we need to go get on the side because there are monsters of some form, not Darkspawn, but monsters of some form, streaming every night from the castle where the Arl is sick. So the first thing we're going to do is try to get the dwarf at the general store back on board and not being a little dwarfy numpty about the whole thing, basically. He's being very dwarven about everything. <laughs> Hello. Lake Callan had no swimming. That sign won't bother me because I... Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm not allowed to be a rebel. Definitely something games have got better at over time. Giving us the, the freedom to just be stupid, you know? There's the castle. I guess we'll moving over that bridge and then swooping down here. Or they could be swimming over. Maybe that's why they're so scared of the monsters. Because they ignore the no swimming sign. <laughs> that could well be it. Right, I'm assuming we're going new. Hello, chair. Right, remember that's there. Uh... <laughs> Twin? Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Hello. Just lock pick here. I don't know who this is. <laughs> Isn't that gonna be the dwarf? Dwin. Mm, does it scream dwarf? I'm just trying to get to the general store, man. I'm just trying to I don't I'm there. It's a freaking maze. It's like um, uh, Lake Town in The Hobbit. Similar vibes. That's Caitlin's home. General store forward. How was that? Never mind. Don't know who Dwin is. Are you Dwin? No, no one's here. Well, I'm just gonna rock from you then, if you don't mind. Dwarven war axe. You don't need it. You're not here. <laughs> Find us keepers, I suppose. There's lamp oil in these barrels. Are you suggesting something, game? Are you suggesting I blow something up? I feel like you are. <laughs> um, I don't have any fire spells. I have lightning. Am I not allowed to do that, apparently? Uh, I don't have any fire spells, do I? No. Hmm. That's a little suspicious to me. I'm not sure if it's meant to be, but it's a little suspicious. I'm not super suspicious, but I'm a little suspicious. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. It is the dwarvy boy. I apologize, I didn't mean it. I'm trying to not intimidate. Apology accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. That's not very nice. Murdoch says he needs you for the militia. So what? You recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. So you're all going to die. Your chances are better out there than in here. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Can I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. Stop trying to make me intimidate. There we go. I put in a good word for you with Ban Tegan or the Arl. Hmm. You might just be able to pull that off. You don't know who I am. Fine. <laughs> I'll throw in with the militia. For now. You better be out there too when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? Yeah, no worries, buddy. Like, why have you just taken my word that I know I could be just a complete nobody? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you can probably talk to the to the Arl or Ban Tegan. Yeah, why not? Right, I think that is everything in terms of this quest, Redcliffe. Um, okay, we're going to go find that person's wife, daughter. Uh, so we need to go find... Oh, right, yeah. You've noticed some barrels of oil in the general store. Perhaps someone could use them to defend Redcliffe. Interesting. And then we need to go find Sir Perth, who's over at the windmill. I want to make sure the town has the best chance it can have. Like, I'm not going to be in trouble. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> but, you know, Beric. 
I can't believe I'm going to find out. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. Uh, to win? Thanks for persuading him to come out here. He's going to be a great help. I just know it. Hmm. I have a good feeling about tonight. Oh, you're all gonna die. You can't keep saying things like this. I don't know who would use the barrels. We're out here because I say we're gonna help these people. These humans don't know the hilt of a sword from the pointy end. Uh, right, so we need to ah windmill that way. Maybe the guy, maybe Sir Perth is gonna be our windmill boy. Not a windmill, oil boy. We're looking for an oil boy. <laughs> I mean, aren't we all? It's a sock. It's a filthy sock. How did it find its way to my bedroll? Maybe it likes you. Socks are sneaky like that. Anyway, it's not mine. It has your name stitched on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, part of Templar training back at the Chantry. The men were uh, always getting their socks mixed up. Anyway, um, sorry about that. I'll take it from you right now. One of my socks is feeling a little damp anyway. A change would be nice. You're going to put it on? It's filthy. And dry. We're not exactly traveling in the lap of luxury here. What hideous habits you've picked up. <laughs> His arm is so good. It's great. Socks. Socks to me screams late invention. I, I'm, all right, all right. I'm now. Wait, one sec. Bear with me. Bear with me. Oh no, where's my phone? I'm gonna make this an educational video when you watch this in like three months or whatever. When did socks become popular? Oh, wow. <laughs> huh, 1000 AD, really? Socks have been popular for over a thousand years. That, that surprises me. It feels like quite a recent thing that people would bother with socks, you know? I feel like when you look at depictions of people from a thousand years ago, I guess you don't really think about a thousand years ago. Like you think about recent history in the last few hundred years, the Tudors and Elizabethans and etc. And you think about like the Jesus times. <laughs> but I don't think people really talk about a thousand years ago. No wait, what's this? Oh, do I have to go a different way? In a what? House. Ah, right, that's how uh, I guess I have to go around. I guess I have to go around. But yeah, socks have been, I think, for much longer than I, I realised. I mean, I, I, I kind of like... It's an obvious thing to invent, right, really, a sock. It's, it's, you know, I feel like I would have invented socks. <laughs> um, if need be. But... Um, I just think of it as quite recent. I don't know why. I need to sneeze really badly. I managed to mute myself. I'm very proud. Right, swing to the right. Uh, over here, I'm guessing. No, this is a separate house. Well, let's go check out. This is a very cool house. I would live in this house. Imagine this. Your house built into the side of the waterfall, overlooking... Oh, it'd be sweet. What was that noise? Is that Alexa? Did you guys hear that? That was terrifying. I'm a little scared to make noise now. <laughs> I'm recording at 4 yeah, I have to be quiet. Oh, hello. People really have to do a better job stopping me robbing you. <laughs> the only person who's ever taken an issue with me robbing them is coincidentally, or ironically, I suppose, the bandits that I robbed. Yes, what can I do for you? I don't know. Very well. <laughs> I'm assuming I'll be back to talk to you, because it would be very weird if you were here and you could talk to them and say absolutely nothing. <laughs> that would seem quite... Oh, I forgot. Oh. Folks, I forgot the mod. Did you to get rid of these enchantments. The You're asking me if I have a relationship with my brother, aren't you? Yes. I wonder what he thought of you. I don't think he cared much about my existence. I didn't mean anything to him. Anyway, to answer your original question, no. We never spoke. Well, maybe once. Marek and Kaylin had come to Redcliffe to visit the Arl. I was very young then. We were introduced. I believe I said, greetings, your highness. He said, ooh, swords, and ran off to the armory. So, yes, that was the extent of our relationship. We drifted apart after that. Very sad. 
Wynn and Morrigan haven't uh, haven't chatted yet. I don't think. I like Wynn. Wynn's a nice, calming presence, but she wouldn't be my first choice in terms of like sheer force of personality. It's just that she's a healer, so she's necessary. <laughs> I don't really have a choice. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. Mm, Callie As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, oh, well. With a Grey Warden aiding our defence, perhaps all is not lost. I mean, the Grey Warden just means I can drink some blood. <laughs> I'm not sure it really signifies much beyond that. Have you considered using the oil in the village store? There we go. No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? So much. Enough to send many monsters aflame. Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? That was cool. Anything I do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. See what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. Anything else? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. You too, buddy boy. Uh, little building? No, oh, I love a little building. Uh, it's sort of like coming home again. I forgot to open that bloody chest, didn't I? <laughs> Down at the bottom. Ah, oh, well. We never really find anything good in chests. I think all the good gear we've ever found has been on corpses, basically. It's like elite enemies. Oh, love letter. Correspondence Interruptus. <laughs> Quatus Interruptus? A collection of embarrassing personal communications between the spoiled wealthy and their objects of obsession. A delicate matter. While I am enjoy, while I am overjoyed at the prospect of having you, an unwelcome guest requires that you excuse yourself by the postern of my estate to avoid a mark upon our reputations. You are filthy, a beast. Such depravity I've never been forced to suffer. How words are so laden when they leave your lips is beyond decent imagining. Madame, I love you. I've never written a love letter. Um. Not that old, you know. <laughs> Nearly, <laughs> but not quite. Andraste's Grace. This looks important. I'll get on it. Yes, there's a gift. Nice. Um. Wait, Zephyrin hasn't. Didn't didn't I get Zeph? Hmm. Where's my assassination skill? Uh, I did write a poem for a girl once, for a person once. I'm not going to explain that any further. It wasn't a guy. <laughs> I just, not that it would matter. I just want to. I just want to clarify. Um, okay, let's go talk to Mother Hannah in the Chantry. I'm not sure the fine protection will do much of anything, but hey, home. But I did write a poem once, which I thought was really good, actually. Genuinely, genuinely thought it was really quite good. Uh, cheesy as all hell would be super embarrassing if anyone else heard it, obviously. But they seem to like it. What is it you need, child? Hmm, so Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Can you just bless them? I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. If it gave them confidence, then it does protect them. I suppose if they believed in the Maker's power, that belief would inspire them somewhat. It, it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, 
I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Are you sending me back up that bloody hill? You are sending me back up that bloody hill, aren't you? Sending me back up that bloody hill. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyways, I think that's the only thing. I mean, I've always been a decent writer. It's one of my very, very few skills. I'm curious, actually, right, I've, I've, those of you watching this video, because people, some people, not myself, but some people struggle to talk about what they're good at. Um, it's, it's, it can be hard to hype yourself up, you know what I mean? It, it shouldn't be. It should be easy to say, yeah, I'm good at these things. Maybe I'm not good at these things, but I'm good at these things. You know, it should be good and easy to say that, but it's actually quite a struggle five might be pushing it okay if you're watching and you've got to this point what are your top three skills right in life it could be anything nothing sexual but what are your top three skills the knights of redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal i got you some worthless pieces of metal have you spoken to the revered mother has she offered anything holy amulets if they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests well that would more than suffice Glad I could help. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Ready to make my stand? There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... I think I'm ready. I don't think there's anything left to do. Let's rock out. Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. Indeed. Trying to think what my skills are. What is that? They're coming. Get to your positions. Make ready. She should not have been in position already. <laughs> Just saying. It's time, men. Know that we fight for the Maker and our hour. Light the traps. Burn these foul creatures. I don't want to run forward. They didn't do a bloody thing. Not a bloody thing. Right, I'm going to be relatively quiet during this because you're not going to hear me anyway <laughs> and I can't talk too loud. Hey, Morrigan. If you don't mind, it's gonna corner cold all of them. I'm trying not to take that guy on the. It seems to like to jump to friendly targets for some reason. I'm not really sure why that would be the case. Should be fine. Okay, buddy, calm down. I think I kept most of them alive. One guy died at the end because he was a freaking idiot, but I'm not taking responsibility for that. Anyways, first of my skills is writing. I think I'm a, I'm, I'm a decent writer. I'm not like the best writer, but I'm a decent writer. 
Stay tuned for the other two skills. I really don't know what they would be. <laughs> That's the only one I've got in mind. I guess YouTube. I struggle to, to see that as a skill sometimes. But then I listen to other people do YouTube and their inability to, to fill <laughs> dead air. <laughs> and I realise that I'm actually quite good at that. But it wouldn't be like editing or anything like that. I don't, I'm not a particularly good video editor because I don't do it. I just don't care about it. I think like overly edited videos are really annoying. So something I tend to... Oh, guess Photoshop as well. Are they my free skills? Are they all nerd skills? <laughs> are all my skills nerd skills? I think they might be. Writing talking nonsense. Photoshop. I wonder if I put that as my top three. Uh, I mean, I can lift things, but I don't think that's a skill. I'm good at lifting things, but like, and there is a skill involved in like being a good lifter. But it's mainly just. It's like you wouldn't say a skill is getting things off the top shelf. You know what I mean? Like, because you're tall. Let's say you're really tall. You wouldn't say, oh yeah, one of my skills is I can get things from the top shelf. That's a useful thing you can do, but I wouldn't call it a skill per se. And I think lifting is kind of the same deal. There's a little bit more technique involved. You know, I know how to lift correctly, and you might not think that's a big, like, particular thing, but trust me, when I see other people do a uh, bench press, <laughs> completely get it wrong. Um, it's surprisingly difficult to do. But it's still mainly just a thing that you have and you work on rather than a direct skill. To an extent. If you go into full-on bodybuild, I mean, there's a skill. It's more like a knowledge. Yeah, it's but it's more a knowledge than a skill, I would suggest. This is a lot of corpses. So many corpses. Too many corpses. That is the whoa, 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 Morrigan, what the? Oh, Win is Win's got sick positioning. I'll give her that much. Right, let's get Morrigan back up. I don't know if I need everyone alive, but I want them all alive. Backstab. 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 Lost a lot more people this time. So many enemies, man. I guess as long as my guys don't die, 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 I don't get that much, but still. I'm trying to help you here, buddy. They just keep coming, I swear. It's never ending. No, he died as well. It is literally just going to be me and my, It's going to be off us three. That's it. They're clearly prioritizing the NPCs. Get two alive. That was intense. Safe. And we can level Alistair up, which means strength. <laughs> it just does. Um, although, no, actually, it doesn't. Right, so interestingly, he's got 32 strength at the moment. We need 36 or 38. I don't remember. I'm going to go. I can't remember if it's 36 or 38, so I'm going to put 3 in just in case. Uh, Skill-wise... Level 12 to that. I guess we'll boost one of these up. Uh, overpower... I don't really want him to worry about doing damage. These are both damage ones. I want him to be more protected. Right. Okay, that... No, I want that. Oh, I need to get him dexterity. Okay, well, we'll, we'll look at that in the future. have a look at him here. He's on 35 strength at the moment, so next level no matter what, we're getting there. I just need to check if it's 36 or 38. Dawn arrives, and we survive the night. We are victorious. That was fun. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Not bad for a pointy ear, eh? There's still much to do, Bantigan. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. 
Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, Mayor and beloved father, we salute you. Aww. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. I wonder if you can save Murdoch somehow. Maybe there's one thing I didn't do and that would have saved Murdoch. I wonder if like more people die if I don't do all the extra things that I did. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. And we'll just walk now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. You know what I've realized? This is slightly weird. My character... I got a tactic slot. Why? For who? Alistair. Morrigan. I gained a tactic slot. Huh. Um, my character looks a lot like my sister. Like, facial structure-wise, it actually looks surprisingly like my sister. That really wasn't on purpose, I promise. <laughs> but um, I, I wonder if that's why I found the character quite disconcerting. Because it looks so familiar to me in some ways. It's, it's, kind of, it's, kind of, it's quite weird now that I look at it. Definitely wasn't on purpose, but it has kind of just ended up like that. How weird. Bex, if you're watching this, you look like an elf, just so you know. She doesn't really look like an elf, though, but I guess my character doesn't... I wouldn't say my character looks that elvish other than the, the knife he is. Anywho, we're not done yet. Now, we actually have to go... I mean, that feels like the preamble, really, to the, the main event. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Oh. I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over, and I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tika. Alone. We will need more of an explanation than that. What? Uh, who is this woman, Tika? <laughs> you remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Burden me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. <laughs> we have survived, but do do that? he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tegan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Then we must decide quickly. The king is dead. And we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. I don't really understand what's going on here. I cannot let Isol return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Love that accent. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. 
Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? What is going on? Why is this? Because she does not seem to be possessed. She's, I mean, maybe the guard is, and the guard's working for the evil, whatever it is, and that's why she's oh, so hesitant about what she can say. Why would you, I don't, I'm really curious about this. Obviously, I've played this part of the game before, but if I'm honest, I don't remember any of this, this storyline. Then it's for the best. I would prefer to go inside with you, but I have no choice in the matter. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Even, even the kid? <laughs> uh... Of course you're expendable. You must end this evil, no matter what. Greater evils have been loosed on the world, but I will not argue with you. Well, you but I can delay bit, no you? longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. See you later, buddy. Okie dokie. It's the mill. And then there's a secret, secret door, apparently. For secrets. Ah, I did wonder what this was. <laughs> it did look awfully suspicious, didn't it? Okay, well, let's save up. Hate these places. At the very next time, it wants to die. Here I come to wreck the day. Run while you can. I need to use my, um... Hello? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? I'll talk about it in a minute. Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Hmm, possibly. My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh, threw me into the dungeon here. It's really weird hearing my name. Did I say that already? I've just had a thought again, <laughs> but it's very, it's spelled incorrectly, I just want to point out, but um, it's very strange. Why, what have you done? You don't know? I thought everyone knew. I poisoned Al Eamon. Huh? What? What? <laughs> Why? I'm not proud of it. The Alessa had no idea what I was hired to do when she took me in to tutor Connor. I, I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Why did you poison the Arl? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malificar. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. Ah, uh, I thought you looked familiar. I had thought you... dead. Hunted down by the Templars. I guess you might have been told that. I was in hiding when I was caught. But instead of killing me, Loghain made me an offer. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. Mm, why did the Arlesa need a mage? Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. See, this is the problem. It's kind of like abstinence, right? Instead of teaching safe sex, 
for mages. <laughs> they teach abstinence, so anyone who does it kind of gets hunted down. Whereas if you, it's kind of like with drugs as well. If you just kind of open up a little bit and teach people how to do it safely and stop demonizing it quite so hard, then it will overall be safer. Perhaps the son is responsible for what happened. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but Stop he may have done something weird. to tear open the veil. <laughs> With the veil to the fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. I see. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Jowen has good intentions, but a blood mage? I... I find it difficult to trust his words. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. How will you make things right? I... well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that, what happens? Afterwards? I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed. Or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. Oh, if I were to just let you go... I'd stay and try to help if I could. Perhaps I can help deal with whatever's been unleashed here. Mm. I'm glad you think so. So what now? Mm, my compassion. My compassion is a monster. <laughs> We're gonna let you out, okay? But if you do any funny stuff, I'm gonna chop your head off. You're letting me out? And what then? <clears throat> you come with me, that's what. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but... I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. Then help, just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. I'm not so sure about this. But I don't have... I'm not like a mage racist. So... Yeah, I've really annoyed Alistair lately. He really He's, he's really starting to dislike me. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to... Buff that up a little bit. Nothing in any of these, is there? Morgan likes me at least. That's something. But it's Alistair who I want to like me more. I can't bang Morgan. <laughs> As that happens, unfortunately. We're gonna I'm gonna give Alistair his little doll thing or whatever the gift is that Alistair likes. Um, oh hello, cheeky. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Uh, oh, it's an awkward situation. Oh no, wait, if I move over here... Morrigan? Oh, look at that! Think of beauty! Now, this should... I mean, I think it all comes to the back steps. Oh, You see, when the enemy gets frozen like that, even though I was standing right in front of it, I'm still backstabbing it because of the uh, ability we picked up last video. Not be defeated. I dinged! I dingling! My dingling! My dingling! <laughs> you stay and play with my dingling. Uh, right, okay. Um, ah, plus two decks, plus two five crit. Um. I said I need more dexterity, don't I? I needed at least 30. I'm just gonna. Oh, but I kind of. I just want to shove points into cunning. I want my deeps. No. I'm gonna do that, and we'll do that again next time. Uh, I should be able to get that next time. I need 35 dexterity for evasion. Evasion is really strong. Mm, do I want that? I need 36 for that. Only chosen a few that the ba ba. Among the it was a wield full size weapons in both hands. I don't know if I want that. Hmm. 
Uh, this loss good though. Two weapon fighting, gaining a bonus to critical chance, as well as a possibility with each hit to inflict bleeding lacerations. So it's just, I, I like a flat bonus, you know? <laughs> I don't have to think. Momentum. Increasing attack speed. Uh, that sounds good as well, maybe. Whirlwind. That sounds awesome. <laughs> ah, momentum. It's going to drain my stamina quickly. Increases attack speed. I don't know which of these two I want. I think momentum's always stronger, but it's an extra button I have to press. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I'll just carry on. You know, I gained laceration ability. Better than later. Love lacerations. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Now we go into the nothing but the Oh no, I think Alistair's taunting abilities have gone up, you know, although as soon as I start to hit something, it still always jumps on me, as you can see. And it happens again. I don't know what has happened with Wynn and Morrigan, but they've become much better at hiding in the corner. <laughs> Job went. Uh, let's get mass rejuvenation, I guess. So that's um big increase to stamina and magic for everyone. I should use that. I wonder if I can just use that on Win herself more often, because I keep having to burn potions on her. But surely I don't need to, right? Uh, right, here we go. That might, maybe. There's a lot of stuff in here. Don't care if it's rubbish. It's money. So you can get off my back. Now's better than later. <laughs> Why is my character like this? Why am I like this at all? <laughs> okay, cool. We're doing time. Oh, we're f absolutely hunky dory. <laughs> It's not the best time. He's really, like I say, he's really good at getting one enemy to attack him, as you can see. But all the others, as soon as I hit them, <laughs> they just turn around. I need to get him, uh, I, I need to check his abilities to see if I can get like a, like a big AOE ability and it'll say like, you know, if there's three enemies or something, use blog blog. So, yeah. Morrigan, there's a lot of enemies. Uh, Alison might be in the way. No, oh, there we go, perfect. Right. Yeah, this backstab one is great. With Morrigan in the party, it makes me uh, want to emphasize the. Um, the frost abilities because suddenly the enemy with frost abilities means I can really push the backstab of damage, right? Makes sense to me. Okay, literally all of them are hitting me. Alistair! <laughs> Help! Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I didn't realize. It's, just, it's a lot of enemies, you know? All right, all right. Uh, Morgan leveled up. with zoom in. And that takes her magic up to 34. We need to get her to 36. And then we'll probably calm down a little bit on that. I'm going to pick up Blizzard. I'm not sure when we'll use it. Let's see how it's placed. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so that seems like a good one to maybe start the fight with. Or if the fight is like really spread out in an area like this, that doesn't feel very helpful. Because it's got friendly fire. So surely... It's going to just freeze me to death instead of anyone else. No, the puppers! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Although, although, Morrigan. 
Oh, that's me. See, this doesn't... What if I do... Doesn't... Run, 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 no! I didn't move in time. Win, help! <laughs> oh, that's Blizzard. I mean, it's, it's really strong. Oh, actually, I can get myself back up, can't I? Here I come to wreck the day. Wait, is this Blizzard still going? Okay, Blizzard is awesome. <laughs> um, I think it's very difficult to use, but it's very strong. It is somehow still going on. It lasts for a really long time. It's kind of wild. That lasted for yonks. Absolutely yonks. There's got to be a situation where that's like really good to use, you know? It's just hard to think about when I'd be able to use that without whomping my entire party. But hey, we'll keep an eye on it. You never know. Do I? <laughs> Need you guys to stay back for a second, okay? Yeah. Meh. Yeah. There we go. Zoom in up the levels. Zoom in. Alistair here. Alistair here. Still half level behind everyone else. <laughs> What if that'll even out over time? That was terrible. Gotta remember, so when I dirty fight like that and I stun the enemy, I don't need to move behind them anymore. I can actually just not do that. The combat in the game is nothing particularly special or anything like that, but it is weirdly satisfying. Especially now it's going much better than it was in the past. Now's better than later. And um, after the last video where <laughs> I didn't kill a bloody thing, it's, it's been nice to just get back to, to stabbing a thousand different little zombies, you know? I'm a simple man. I stab zombies, I'm happy. See, so, look, throw dirty firing and then we... Stop backstabbing from the- it's a front stab, basically. <laughs> Is there literally nothing in here? Ah, you cheeky little. There's two zombies having a little canoodle and I interrupted. It's quite sad, actually. Oh, hey. Oh, I wonder if this is the daughter. All right, all right. You the daughter? It's so funny that she only reacts when I click her. Otherwise, I'm just walking around the room and she's like, da 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 da. Um, calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My, my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she? All right. What happened to everyone? I don't think that's the daughter. Oh, it is. The Smith's daughter. You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? A tunnel leading out. But, but the monsters! I've killed them. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Was that the right play? I hope she made it back. I mean, I have killed everything along the way. I hope she made it back safely. I'm wondering if I should maybe have... I mean, I did the trip as well. I'm wondering yeah, if I should that. have... Cleared like the whole area out, you know, and then sent her on her merry way. Wait, 70. Did I not save after buying the backpack? How much money have I got? Oh, I bought the. I was about to say, why am I so bloody poor? <laughs> I'm really surprised by how incredibly poor I am. Got it. But um, obviously, I bought that talent book, didn't I? Oh, God. Alright. Morrigan. If you don't mind. Thing of beauty. A thing of absolute beauty. Call a cold is sick. <laughs> it really is. And Winstead. 
Wind's not allowed to stand as far forward as she did. That's really all there is to it. Used to fighting like this any longer. I know. Let's get you healed up, love. Don't worry about it. We all we all make little mistakes. It's fine. Not here to judge. It's a action-packed little area, isn't it? This might be the most enemies I've killed in the entire game in like quick succession. <clears throat> it's cool. Hmm. Basement cellar, coyote. I wonder if this wraps around. Um, uh, if I'm squeaky, it means I don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's the universal. It's just I'm just wondering if there's a way into the main hall that I'm missing. I don't think so. I'm wondering if I end up wrapping around from the cellar all the way like through there, here up to here, through the courtyard, into there, into the main hall. That's probably what's going to happen actually. Onwards to glory. As they say in the clubs. Come okay, on then. Let's get a wiggle on. How many zombies can there possibly be? So, you can get off my back. so why is that the only thing my character... She doesn't say anything else. All right, all right. <laughs> she literally doesn't say anything else. She doesn't have a single other voice line. Other than alright alright. <laughs> that she pops out. Oh nice. Steel braces. That's got to be good for uh, Alistair, surely. Right? You'd think so. I'll get on it. They've got warhounds on them. Alistair's not the biggest fan of warhounds, but he's the only one who could wear steel, so. Bastards. I don't know. What the hell? There's aggressive Alistair charging. I'll, I'll handle these ones. Don't you worry about it. Okay, I'm just going to fall over. <laughs> Morrigan, while you're here, my dear. This this one's a big one that's concerning me slightly. Just gonna hop in there, get some stabbing on. Don't worry about Alistair, he's off on his own. Then again, I'm the one tanking this bloody thing. Oh, win, 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 win. win. When you're not allowed to die, okay? Yeah, everyone else is allowed to die. You're not allowed to die. When? What did I just say? <laughs> right, I think part of our problem is Alistair's gone upstairs. I need Alistair to not go upstairs. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's reload. Alistair can't go upstairs. It's just, it's just too... It's, t it's too much for my for the rest of us to handle. I know I've got him set to aggressive, so it's kind of my fault, but I'll, I'll control him. I just need to... Mm, I think if I keep Alistair downstairs and I go on my own upstairs... Maybe... Because like I feel like someone probably does need to be up there. But I think it should be me. What if I... Um, Hurry! What? I'm gonna just nip up here. Morrigan. Did I not cast that? Oh, for God's sake. I got, I got so close to the end and then stopped. Thank you. Come on, Wynn. We're going down here. Need wind to get around this corner. Alright, back to business. <laughs> I'm just hoping that blizzard is. Yeah, you can see it's ticking away on them up there. I said there would be a situation where we have to blizzard and we finally found it. Uh, wind's gonna need some magic. This 
guy has a lot of health. Um, oh. Haste. Whoa, look at the attack speed. That's crazy. Right, I'm going to throw on a uh, poison here. Yeah, I'll just find him. It's fine. Haste plus poison. Winning combination. This thing is uh, tough to kill, though. Bloody hell. I was just drinking all my pulses. He's going to die. Like, oh, no, nearly. Jesus Christ. You see, Haste is not using nearly as much um, mana as I thought it was. And it's a huge increase in... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to start using that all the time. There's a huge increase in attack speed. Massive. Really strong. Really, really strong. This guy was a toughie over here, though. I'll tell you that much. A revenant. Oh. Just gold. It's kind of disappointing, actually. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little sad about that. Um, oh, hey guys. I'm gonna let you in, alright? All right, all right. Hi. <laughs> you have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Nothing gets past you, buddy. the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Sure. Excellent. Let us go now, then, and see what awaits us there. Did I want to look around? Eh, whatever. What the hell? The boy. The boy is the problem. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. It's possessed. Yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This is an elf, Connor. You... You've seen elves before. We have them here in the castle. Oh, I remember. I had their ears cut off and fed to the dogs. The dogs chew for hours. <laughs> Shall I send it to the kennels, mother? Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. M mother? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman. You are beginning to bore me. Maker's breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. And that's why she was so anxious about everything. Um, I have no intention of hurting him. I wish I could say the same. Wait. No, I don't. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! <laughs> Quiet, Uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? Hmm, came here to help. To help me? To help Father? To help yourself? Which? To help the people you've terrorized. I was just having fun. Everyone else had fun too. Are you having fun, Uncle? Marmalade. You see? <laughs> We're having fun. I think you're just trying to spoil things. What do you think, Mother? 
I think it's threatening me. I... I don't think... Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now she'll repay me. Something is coming. Back away! Oh god. Um Can I do this without killing all the people? <laughs> Somehow, maybe? Oh, this is your evil. I hope you don't die, buddy. That's all I've got to say. I hope you don't die. Tegan! Oh, Tegan! Are you all right? I am... better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I'm not responsible for anything. I'm not about to kill a child. Connor is no longer <clears throat> a child. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? Uh. He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Uh, I thought it would be useful. Useful? After everything he did, he should be executed. Without him, none of this would have happened. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then <laughs> they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Right, it's, it's... Not only is it my name, but I feel like they're saying it, like, aggressively in that they're saying it all the time. Like, they're not just saying it, they're gonna say it 5,000 times. Joan! The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have blood magic. Sure. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Is there no other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him. Or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Can we even trust this Jowan to do as he promises? 
give him access to such power, and who knows what he shall do. I am uneasy. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Am I just gonna play Morrigan? Oh, there must be another way. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. The Circle Tower's not far from here, the Omi. Indeed. It should not be difficult to get what is needed, provided we have the time. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. I really don't know if that was a terrible mistake or not. I, I feel like that isn't the option I usually would have picked, though, so I thought I'd mix things up a little bit. I think sacrificing her is the logical way to do it, but I, I can't help myself. I want to try to do it in a way that gets everyone out alive. The fact that we've gone to the circle already is what's made this possible. If we hadn't gone to the circle before, this obviously wouldn't have been an option. The fact that we freed the guy is also making it an option. If we hadn't freed him, well, Connor would be dead. <laughs> Wouldn't he? <laughs> oh, it's a really interesting quest. There's a lot of um, different permutations. And we will see how they play out in the next video. Thank you for joining me. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.